All right, so we're going to look at one more method for finding the greatest common factor, also called the GCF. And if we were to sort of simplify what that means, that's really the largest whole number that you could divide two or more numbers by. Um, so again, factors, those are just things you can divide things by um, without having sort of a remainder or a decimal. So this method is called, I call it upside down birthday cake. I'm going to explain this super quick. If we thought of we had like a birthday cake right here, and then imagine we had a couple candles and so we've kind of got our candles right there. So that's sort of our birthday cake. So kind of keep that in your mind. That's where this comes from. You can kind of call it whatever, but that's what I call this method. Um, we've got our steps right here on the right-hand side. So let's say we had the numbers 18 and 24, and we had to find what is the greatest common factor those two numbers have. Let me go over here to my steps. Write the first, the numbers of the layer, the numbers in the first layer of the cake. So I'm gonna draw a line like that to say that's sort of our first layer of the cake. We've got the numbers in there. Step two, write the smallest prime number that is a factor of both numbers on the left side of that layer. So prime numbers are numbers like two, three, five, seven, eleven, numbers that only have two factors, one in themselves. So if I had those two, two, they can both be divided by two. So I'm gonna put two on the left hand side. Then step number three tells us we're gonna divide by that factor, draw a new layer, and repeat this process until we can't divide anymore. So 18 divided by two is nine, 24 divided by two is 12. I'm gonna keep going, I can divide those. Can't divide them by two, but three I can divide them for by. Nine divided by three is three, 12 divided by three is four. I cannot divide by any more prime numbers. Two, three, five, seven, I'm done. So I'm move on to step number four over here, our final step. Circle the numbers on the left side of the cake and multiply them together. So, right, so we've got these two numbers right here. So we're just going to multiply 2 times 3 equals 6. So our GCF equals 6. And we have solved that problem. And we're just looking for kind of what are the factors they have in common. And that's a really quick way to do it. We'll do one more example. I'm going to do this one with three, pro three numbers, 28, 42, and 56. Okay, so I'm going to draw my layer right here. I'm going to think what is a common factor that's a prime number. Start with 2. It's an easy one. Hopefully we can do it mentally. 28 divided by 2 is 14, 21, and 28. We're going to think is there another prime number that I can divide them by? Not 2, not 3, not 5, but I can divide them all by 7. So I'm going to put my layer right here, put a 7 on the left hand side. 14 divided by 7 is 2, 21 divided by 7 is 3, and 28 divided by 7 is 4. Cannot divide by all three of them by any more common factors, so I'm just going to circle these numbers on the left-hand side, and I will multiply them together. 2 times 7 equals 14, which means your GCF for this would be the number 14. Now you can also use this, um, I talk later about how to do this using uh, the LCM, where you literally just multiply and make kind of like a big L and multiply those together. That would be your LCM, but we'll talk about that another time. Um, again, this is our greatest common factor, making something that kind of looks like an upside down birthday cake.